the summon rush event in Karato, the Fox Hunter fusion has everybody pulling their shots just to get the required points to get the rare champion, even if you're not going for the um, epic champion that is right here at the 4,600 mark. So everybody's trying to reach the 2,000. 2450 mark to get cage bound which is the rare you need to complete this fusion yes you cannot skip any of the events else you will not get all the rares required to fuse character the fox hunter i have waited friday saturday sunday all through the summon rush event waiting to see what magic what hail mary i could pull to get me the required number of points because i do not want to pull my shards for a 10x considering that next week is a 2x on sacred shards so i wanted my sacred shards to all be intact i'm totally 100 percent free to play so i needed my 14 15 or 18 sacred shards that i'll get by that weekend to be available for me to pull two three or even one legendary champion that is new for my account so I will, i'm waiting for that so i'm not going to be pulling my sacred shards for this summon rush and to prepare for that I have been saving ancient shards so you can see i'm currently at 1247 mark yes i got this point in this event by pulling ancient shards so yes this is currently 9 pm and i've been pulling ancient shards since 8 pm it takes a lot of time to do that's why even people who have, that have 2400 ancient shards that even have 3000 ancient shards they don't sit and pull their ancient shards and crunch them they still go ahead and pull their secrets and voids and I'm like, I'm talking about mystery shards. <laughs> yes, mystery shard is what I'm talking about, not ancient, sorry. I always mistake both of them because their colors are kind of similar. But anyway, I'll say people that have over 2,000, 3,000 mystery shards still don't pull them because they feel like it's a waste of time. They just go ahead and pull their voids and secrets. I decided not to do that. I pull my mystery shards to get to this point. Yes, those ones you get from farming campaign, those ones you get from um, it beating some areas of the game. That's what I waited and waited and saved until I got about almost one, 2,000 of them. And I used them in the last event that happened. That's why I currently have this amount that is kind of low. But yes, I'm happy that I was able to get to this point to, in this event. So how do I complete? Because you see, I still need an, an additional 1,200 to complete and get this rare. How do I get to this point now? That's what I'm thinking. I've done the maths before I hit the record button. And it seems like I have the option of pulling Ancients, Void, or Sacred. And since... 2x sacred is coming up that's out of the question i'm not pulling that this could easily help me get to the point where i need to be by pulling two right if i pull two i pull one void and just complete with ancients i'm done ancient next event is five weeks or four weeks away so a lot of people are pulling their ancients right now i feel like that's a total waste you're just counting towards your pt number but i feel like the best one that i'll have to pull for this number of points i need is void shards why because void is the least number of shards i need to pull yes it seems like even it's even lower than sacred shards so for just 10 void shards that i pull i'll get this number of points i need which is 1200 to complete this event but if i wanted to pull my 18 ancient shards that will give me only 18 times 20 360 points you see it will clear my entire ancient that i've saved so far while the next ancient event is still far away yes but i'd rather pull 10 voids and still have eight more voids left for when the 2x void is coming up in three weeks or four weeks time so by then i have maybe up to 20 more voids to go and void champions are really really easy to get duplicates of i'm talking about the legendary champions now it's so easy to get a duplicate habitat duplicate physics and all that so i really don't care for void shards I care a lot about ancient shards and a lot about sacred shards. I'm just going about, I'm just explaining my reasoning behind how I'm going to decide on which shards to pull because you know if you've been watching my channel that I hate 10x events. All right, I've explained that enough. Let's head over to the actual event that you came here for, which is me pulling shards 
to complete the number of points that I need, which is 1,200. So this is not one of those shard pool videos where I go all out and clear my inventory. This is me trying so hard not to pull <laughs> my shards and saving them. But we have no choice but to pull 10 of them. As you see, the event is about to end. In exactly 12 hours, this event will end. If you've not gotten that rare yet, you are <laughs> at risk of not getting the legendary champion diffusion done if you don't get this rare which rare are we even getting from that cage bound this dude so that's what i'm gonna be pulling for right now from the summons 10 voids i don't know how close i am to my pity if i check arrestor helper i don't know if this my counter is accurate i don't know how close i'm far away from getting it anything important i know but i'm consider this me counting void shards towards my pt that's the way i'm looking at these pools i'm just adding 10 more shards towards my pt i'm not really trying to get any epic any um legendary champion so let's not even make the video any longer let's just go 10 at a time right <laughs> now nah, we're doing single pools come on it's void shards they need to be treated special with care so maybe a strange legendary champion that runs out what do we even have reaper feast that's a rare. What do you even have in the 10x? I didn't even consider that. Oh. Sifi the Lost Bride. I've recently started concentrating a little bit more on the arena. So this might not be a bad pool to go with my um, Lydia and Crazy Comb that I have currently going on right now. So this might not be a bad pool. But hey, you know how we do on this channel. We don't hope for the best we always pray and prepare for the worst i mean we prepare for the worst we don't try to cross our fingers and all that that's a void i already have you suai first born i already have this champion i don't have any epics that i would like to have for void i already, I already have double man eater everything this account is stacked so it might be difficult to impress me with shard pools from epics or rares. Nope, they are all going to be food. My faction guardians is also almost full. So I'm not looking forward to adding any of these epics to faction guardians either. I use this dude in early clan boss in one of my accounts. He's kind of a mini physics if you don't know his passive kind of increases the um, extended duration of debuffs on the clan boss so it's kind of useful for early game clan boss if you do pull this dude he's not food keep him for your clan boss and make him even if you don't take him to 60 he's good at doing his job at 50 till whenever you can have somebody to replace him or do better than he does but when you have one poison two poison three poison he just extends it and make sure you don't Especially you have a frozen banshee to make sure our poison sensitivity does, poison sensitivity doesn't fall off. He's really really underrated, and if you do not have a um, champion that extends debuffs, he's awesome for the job for clan boss only, not for general content. Bulwark, a dwarf, he's not useful for the faction world though. So another reaper feast, come on. I mean, I did use all my champions and crunch them, so I kind of need rare champions now to complete the champion training event. <laughs> we are getting dupes of all these champions. Do I have, do I pull 18 yet? I don't want to go be above, come on. No, 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 we are currently at 8, right? I had 18, so I need to pull 2 more, so no. 4 more more voids to go i don't want to get carried away that's the seventh one can we get another epic at least <laughs> cage bound <laughs> okay that's it i'm done <laughs> i'm done i'm no longer pulling well i'm already there i might as well do it and get a duplicate of him right and so i can skip one of the events so if i currently check the calendar cage bound is currently in summon rush and where does it come up again? In champion training again, there's another cage bound. And in champion chase, there's another cage bound. And in fire knight, there's another cage bound. So it seems I have the permission right now to skip one of these events 
on this list, which is I might skip the fire knight. Maybe. Champion chase is a 2x for um, sacred, so there is no way I'm going to skip that. Champion training, I'm, I've already gone halfway. I might... Let's, let's just see how far I've gone in the champion training. Let's pause and see my progress so far and see what is keepable and what is not. But getting a duplicate of any of these rares gives you the permission to skip one of the events that that rare belongs to. So imagine me pulling for a cage bound in summon rush and then getting a cage bound himself. <laughs> That's kind of trolly. <laughs> That's kind of trolly. Maybe I'm, I should have pulled my void shards before I even pulled all my mystery shards. See? I'm already getting him from Summon Rush. So there's no need to stop now, right? Let's just complete it and get him. There's no need to stop. How many more points will we need? Just 100. Or two more. Two, 200 or so should do it. I don't know if it has updated. And I wanted to check also the champion training where he also drops from. See, I'm kind of close. Just by doing this fusion event, you know, getting all the rares up that you get from the fusion, getting them to 40, you, I'm kind of going to complete this. And finally, making them, getting the 5 star um, epic champion, getting the epic champion to 5 star will also help me complete this. I don't need to push extra to come down all the way i'll stop here exactly and skip the fire knight so i guess that was a lucky of me to get duplicate of cage bound right there so two more no three more pulls and we are done with this void shard pool to get cage bound that's an epic i do not have this champion this is the first time i'm getting a golden reaper i've heard so much about her I mean, I've seen what a lot of people use her in the um, arena for. On her A1, she has a 30% chance of decreasing the cooldown of a random ally skill. On an A1, that's awesome. It can be booked up to 40, 50% chance of decreasing the cooldown. Is it just one skill? Okay. Decreasing the cooldown of a random ally skill. Alright. And um, on her A2, a 4 turn cooldown cannot be booked down to, to anything has a 50 percent chance of placing decreased attack for two turns decreases the turn meter of each target by 20 percent if they are not under decreased attack debuff so she's a aoe decreased attack placing void champion that means this might not well she attacks so she might get a she might get resisted or something even if it's not a weak hit because she's void, not against any affinity to be precise. Places a 30% increased speed buff on all allies for 2 turns and boosts their turn meter by 20%. So this is what a lot of people use her for for the arena. She's an increased speed and turn meter boosting champion. But 20% is so low compared to Seeker and others who do even a better job at turn meter boosting. But I know a lot of, people, a lot of champions do it at 15% though. But if you do have a Seeker, I think he does, is it 30% turn meter boost or 15%? Remind me, I forget. But a lot of people use her as a budget version of those champions, I guess. Because I don't think you have a seeker and use her as your turn meter booster. Unless you really, really want that decrease attack and that random chance to increase. Nah, the fights don't go on for that long. They just boost and everybody dies. But she might be awesome for the faction war, which she has a you know aura for. Because she's going to be doing what other turn meter boosters do for your team in faction wars all right two more voids to go first time i'm seeing golden reaper so i had to really take it all in and see if she's gonna be useful for me but no i've completed that fact that faction so i don't need to build her draconis you are food and one last one to complete this i don't want to go to bed and say i'll get some um mysteries in the morning no i wanted to complete this right now and get it out of the way so I don't wake up and forget that I was supposed to get this thing done. And that's it. I now have 8 voids left. That means I pulled 10. But it has not shown that I have a reward to claim. Do we pull one more ancient just to complete it? 20, right? One more ancient just to complete it. I usually don't do this. I just want to get this 
out of the ray really really that's a rare and we now have the event done yes i just wanted to see that red dot to let me know that i've completed this event and giving me the permission to skip one of the cage bound rare obtaining events all right that's me getting the champions i need to complete the first epic for karato fox hunter so i'll fuse fuja the first one so as the week goes on we'll get more rares and i think the next event that is coming up if you do not know or if you do not have this calendar i'll put the link below so you can download it and always be ahead of the events that are coming up spider tournaments are already started i'll start mine tonight overnight and we have um double what do you call it boosted um chance to get double of it of each um, um drop from the spider so that will make us complete it really, really fast i always forget what that thing is called um super raids yes that's what it's called so super raids is turned on for all the events which is awesome so i'm gonna complete spider in one night and spider is not an a tournament we farm just because we want the rare spider is a tournament we farm because we want silver so i'm not gonna be doing spider 20 just to get the points required no i'll actually load up over 1500 gems just for spider tonight so that i'll wake up with 5 million 10 million 15 million if you did not know i'm currently sitting about 800 silver right now why because of in the previous video yesterday i beat the um, eternal dragon and i had to regear my champions to make that happen and i spent all my silver for it and that has also made me completed the artifact enhancement event 100 percent completed done so yes i used one of my tricks if you do not know there's a trick you can use to um spend less silver when you're doing artifact enhancement i also cut it up below i mean above here so you can see how i was able to use 15 million to complete an entire artifact enhancement event i know there are more artifact enhancement event coming up two and three so i needed i will be farming spider tonight to make sure i have enough silver ready for the next one that is coming up and so on all right that's what i wanted to share with you in this video let's grab the summon rush before you do leave though can you drop a like right now in this video it's not one of the shard pool video where i will pull everything i know but i just wanted to show you my thoughts and where i am in this fusion Check your rares. Make sure you have at least four of the different rares ready to fuse into the epic right now. Because if you're not, the summon rush is ending and artifact enhancement will end tomorrow. A lot of um, dungeon divers is also ending in a day time too. So catch up with everything. Make sure you're getting all of them done. I will not be pushing for this epic champion because I'm saving my secrets for this weekend event if you hit the subscribe button you'll be notified when i post that secret shard pool events you can see i have 18 is it 18 let's check again how many secrets do i have right now 15 secret shards ready to go for this weekend that is coming up so that would be awesome to see how many legendaries i get from this event i look forward to this weekend 2x secrets and i'm glad i did not spend it if you did spend your secret for this event i'm sorry it had to be done because a legendary at hand is better than one that you're hoping to get from a secret i guess that's the rationale you have to use to convince yourself that um fox hunter is worth it all right i'm done for the night thank you for watching like subscribe i'm bigs5d good night